What's going on guys? Uh, Wednesday, November 2nd, 2023, uh, day before Thanksgiving. So I uh, got into a couple PMs today, um, kind of shot some random stuff, um, some random stuff from today and yesterday. So um, I'm gonna kinda try to compile all that for you guys and uh, hopefully it turns out all right. So take a look. All right, we're gonna do the maintenance on this guy today. Um, this is a gas pack, propane fired. Uh, Brone package unit from 2013. So I did a video on this one not long ago because it kept burning up igniters. Really couldn't find out the cause, but we're going to open it up and see how this igniter's doing. Um, it's went through like three or four igniters in a, like a two year span. So really, really puzzled us. I don't know why it happened. We actually even put a heat exchanger in this thing because it had a, it had a crack in it, but, um, first five six years this thing ran perfectly the last two or three years seems like uh, a couple things have been happening to it heat exchanger like i said igniters stuff like that so pretty weird stuff but let's get it opened up we'll get it serviced up for the winter all right yeah doesn't look like the rust has gotten any worse of course i wasn't here that long ago but definitely bizarre See, the thing is, it doesn't look like it's running down from here. Because there's not rust marks coming down. But the bottom of the draft inducer, um, I think they call that the collection box, is rusty a little bit. And then the bottom here is rusty. It's weird stuff, man. Weird stuff. Let's take an ohm reading on that igniter. All right, guys, so we're testing this 149 ohms, which sounds high, but I think that's normal for a 240 volt igniter because I have a brand new one up here. This one right here is brand new. Brand new 240 volt one or 230 volt, whatever you want to call it. Let's test this one. But yeah, this one was reading one, 149 also. So that, like I said, again, is a 230 volt one. So typically you'd want to see them around 80. So this one right here is a 120 volt one. It's used. So now this one is a, a slightly used 120 volt one. No idea why I kept it, but let's test this one. 81 ohms okay let's get rid of this one and now this one here is actually a brand new 120 volt um nordine furnace one let's test that one so i got that one this one's coming up 38 ohms so you can see different uh igniters are going to give you different ohm readings um that one is i believe off of a carrier um but it looks like these 120 or 230 volt ones are going to give you a higher ohm reading anyway. So don't let a higher ohm reading on a 230 volt igniter scare you. But uh, um, still really can't get to the bottom of why these igniters keep going up other than possible water damage. All right, got the gas line disconnected here. Um, I'm actually going to re-disconnect this and uh, take off all this wiring because I am going to pull this burner just to make sure everything's clean on it. I've got a few wires here. After we get that pulled, we can get to that um, flame sense and stuff like that. I do have some significant rust here on these burners. They're not rusted shut. There is some significant rust there though. this up I have to clean the flame sense off make sure none of that nastiness is on there car 
it or anything, just clean it up. You can hit it. I mean, some guys are real religious about not putting sandpaper on it. I really don't mind sandpaper. Most time I'll just rub it with my finger. Just like that or use a dollar bill or anything really, a piece of paper. This one looks pretty good. want to give her a whole bunch of ugga duggas and risk cracking that hot surface igniter just get in there till she stops oh, I dropped that one Orifices out. Make sure they're good. Looks good. Let's wire this back up. While it's easy to get to. Seems a little loose. That's better. Get this gas line put back on. Get some pipe dope. And we'll move on. All right, got the gas line reconnected. Let's use the top test, PT-299. This is actually Stephen Cosboons. I think I pronounced your name right, Stephen. You gotta get a hold of me if you, wanna, if you want me to mail you this. We did the drawing Monday. Um, he won it, it is Wednesday. I'm gonna give him until next Monday to contact me. We'll give him a week. Um, but Steven, you got to get a hold of me, man. Email me, Jeff, at Jeff's HVAC Adventures at gmail.com, and I'll send this to you. Very nice leak detector. I'm just going to go around and check all these fittings, make sure nothing's leaking. I think we're good. Yeah, if you guys want one of these, link down in the description. Use the discount code, save some money. Oh, 
I think we're good. Good deal. Gas pressure there, 9.8. Got our combustion analyzer. Whoops, it's hard to put it in there because it's on this, it goes downward like this, but I'll try to get it in there the best we can. Still trying out the uh, C165 Plus by UEI. Not bad. All right. Get some amp draws here. Draft inducers pulling 0.46 hours. This might be our blower up here. Yep. Blower is pulling 1.6. Yeah, this one we have, we're just doing a checkup on a, a pretty new Bosch heat pump system here. Now, one thing I want to I want to mention, Bosch really keeps it simple when it comes to you know this style air handler this is the um this is the bva 36 wn1 m15 so this is like their um their 15 sear model um but it's super basic i mean we still have a split capacitor motor here sequencers for the heat packs and um and yeah, I mean, a basic, basic air handler. Um, we, do, we do have a board that controls everything, but but still, this is a very basic, basic unit. And, um, and kudos for them for not muddying it up with a uh, ECM motor and all kinds of crazy uh, relays for the uh, for the heater pack. You know, I think it's a pretty solid, pretty solid unit here. Right, amp draw on our motor is 1.5, pretty good. Our uh, electric heat should be coming on here in a minute because I did jack the thermostat. So. Let's see what that is. Probably going to be around 40, I'm going to say 42 amps, somewhere in that neighborhood. Oh shit, my battery's going low on my meter. <laughs> yeah, so looking at like 37 amps full unit amperage, which is normal for a 10kW heater pack and blower motor. This thing's making some decent heat. See, I still got the thermostat jacked up, but I disconnected W here. So I'm just getting my heat pump heat and not the electric heat. So 100 degrees, man, that thing's doing good. Let's check the return now. So it's got, it, it draws open return right here. It's got a vent in the ceiling there that is actually ducted over to here so it does draw from the space if this closet door is shut so a little bit of a weird setup but it was like this before we changed this unit out so uh you know we're not going to go reinventing the wheel and it works because this is the filter that i pulled out of it so <laughs> it's pulling some it's doing something so, let's see all right 65 degrees wow we got a we got a 35 degree split Wow, this thing is doing noise. Hell yeah. All right, no complaints here. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. So I uh, hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. Um, safe travels if you're traveling. I'm going down to Williamsburg to uh, be with my parents. Uh, leaving to actually tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, Thanksgiving. Going to be back Saturday. So if you're traveling, travel safe. Um, if you're staying home, you know, enjoy the time with your family um, or I'm going to be off for four days. I'll be back and I'll catch you guys on Monday. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.